Good evening. Good evening, Patricia. How are you? I thank you. I am happy because it's Friday. Uh -huh. <laughs> the same in here. I'm happy because it's Friday. All done tomorrow. I gotta work, but still. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I have a work, but I uh, in my clinic. Oh, you have your private clinic? Yeah. Great. Very good. Excellent. In Zacatecoluca. Oh, okay. That's yeah. great. But you also work in a hospital, you told me, right? Or no? Work in the hospital mm -hmm. of the east. Ah, there you have it. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard, but it's good. Look at you. You have your own business. That's great. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening, Laura. Good evening, Laura. <laughs> good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Okay, you're welcome. To say. So, how was your day, Laura? Mm. Uh, so tired. Tired. <laughs> yes, really tired. Pretty stressful, right? Yes, yes, yes. Um, do you work outside of your house? Outside? Uh, yes, in Unicae, Santa Ana. Mm -hmm. So you gotta travel, right? By bus or by car? Yes, by bus. Uh huh. It's tired. Uh, your day is completely tired because the traffic, girl. Traffic. Yeah. It's... Yes, yes. <laughs> In Santa Ana, it's horrible. 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 <laughs> and tedious. It's also tedioso, tedious. <laughs> yeah. Lucky for you, the driver didn't play perreo music. <laughs> I not <know> it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, Liliana. Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Um, a little tired, but happy to be here. Excellent, really good, yay! Yeah, we were talking with uh, Patricia that today it was really stressful and tired and all the adjectives that you want to say <laughs> about Friday, but it's good to see you in here, girls. Excellent. Thank you. Very good, all right. We're going to wait just two more minutes and we're going to start, all right? <clears throat> okay. Okay. I have, I should.
All right, my dear students, we're going to start now. I'm going to share with you the PPT. So let's see. Today we are going to start with section two. I'm happy for that because that means that you're going to advance more in your platform. Let's see, we have Friday, August 27, 2021. How do you spend your day, right? Excellent. Let's see, we have class number four and that's pretty, pretty basic. Let's move on. Let's see, as always, online classes, you are going to have this kind of questions or these types of questions. What do you remember? Let's see, who remembers the structure for double H questions with verb to be? It's WH word, B, verb B, plus subject, plus complement, plus question marker. Excellent, there you have it, very good. Yeah. Let's see. So that's like the staple the structure for double H questions. Remember that it's called double H because you have a double H word at the beginning of the question. What about number two? Mention the structure for just no questions with B, Ileana. Uh, bear uh, B plus subject plus complement. Excellent, there you have it, very good. And are we missing something, Ileana? Repeat, please. Are we missing something in the structure? Uh, yes. How do you say? <laughs> Question uh, mark. Of? Question mark. Excellent, <laughs> very Thank good, you. great, Ileana, excellent. And let's see, mention at least three Double H words, Patricia. Uh, what, where, who, which. Excellent. When. Very good, girl. Excellent. Now I see that you have practice. Excellent. Let me check. We also have Karen. Hello, Karen. Welcome. Hello, teacher. How are you, Karen? Fine. And you? I'm great. Thank you so much for asking. Welcome to today's class. Let's see. Anna Where Yanti. are you from? Good evening, teacher. Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Excellent. Welcome, Anayansi. Let's see, Karen. Uh huh. Create one question using double H words. Where are you from? Mm -hmm. Very mm. good. What's your name? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Very simple, right? Thank you, Karen. Now, if you think about it, actually, sometimes we say questions like automatically when we are learning English, we say questions like automatically using double H words without knowing that you actually need that. <laughs> so it's great. Beautiful. Thank you, girls. Let's move on. Now, let's see. When we are talking, when we are using who, what are we doing with that, Ileana? Asking about, asking about the person. Excellent. And if I'm using what, Patricia, what do I want to know? Asking about a thing or idea. Exactly, I want to know about a thing or idea. If I'm asking with when, Laura, what do I want to know? When uh, we asking about time. Exactly, we use when, when we are asking about time. If I use where, Karen, what am I doing if I use where? Asking about a place. Excellent, thank you. Anna Jansi, if I use why, what am I doing using why? Asking about a way of, of a reason. Repeat a reason. <clears throat> ah, excuse me. Asking about a reason. 
Excellent. Very good. So there you have it. If I use how, it's because I want to know the way in which I can do something, right? Asking about a way of doing something. Excellent. You have these parameters in here, so you can use them whenever you feel the necessity to express something by using those words. Now, let's see. I have a conversation for you, everyone, because I love practicing also the speaking ability, the speaking skill. And as far as I know, most of you practice only in class, or sometimes you practice alone while you are outside of the classroom, right? But today we're going to practice in here, in class. Let's see, we have Jason and Andrea. In this case, we don't have any voice right now. If you have noticed, there's no, there's no any point in here, right? So we're going to exchange. <laughs> Let's see, Laura, you're going to be Jason. And Patricia, you're going to be Andrea. Action. Okay. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Restaurant. Hamb Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Very really good. Thank you, Patricia and Laura. Now let's okay. change roles. Patricia, you're going to be Jason. Laura, you're going to be Andrea. Action. Let's exchange roles. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what did you do? Oh, I am a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Haven. Excellent. Bravo, girls. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go with Ileana. You're going to work with Mary Vanegas, okay? Ileana, you're going to be Jason, and Mary, you're going to be Andrea. Action. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Tomai Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am guy. I take people or tour to the country in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. Um, what do you do? Oh, I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Thank you so much. Now let's exchange roles. Mary, you are going to be Jason, and Ileana, you're going to be Andrea. Let's see how do we do this. Action. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have past time. Yo, too. Where do you work? I am fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Bravo, girls. Thank you so much. Thank you. 
Now let's check our vocabulary, Mary. Repeat after me. Tours. Tourist. Tours. Tourist. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Three times. Tourist. 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 Excellent. Repeat after me. Interesting. 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 Excellent. In a fast food. In a fast food. In a fast food. In a fast food. Excellent. Very good. Thank you so much, Mary and Ileana. Excellent job. Let's go with Diane Mata. You're going to work with Anna Yancy, right? Um, Diane, you're going to be Jason. Anna Yancy, you're going to be Andrea. Action. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? Uh, I work at Thomas Cook Travel. What happened, Diane? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a guy. I take people on tour to country in South America, uh, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And um, what do you do? Oh, I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Very good. Now let's change. Diane, you are going to be Andrea, and Anna Jansi, you're going to be Jason. Action. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? Hello, Diane. Do you listen to us? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. internet connection let me check yeah she's not anymore in the class don't worry Anayansi. i'm going to finish with you the conversation yeah it's a great job i really love it and what do you do oh i am a student i have a part-time job too where do you work in a fast food restaurant which one? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Thank you. Anna Jansi and also Diane was not in class anymore. Let's see. Repeat after me, Anna Jansi. Interesting. 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 Excellent. Repeat. Have. 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 Excellent, really good job. Thank you so much for your participation. Let's go with, welcome Adriana. Hi miss. Let's see Adriana, you're going to be Jason and Veronica, you're going to be Andrea. Action. I am Jason. Yes. Okay. Where do you work Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travels. Oh, really? What do you do there? 
am agreed at the people of tours to countries in South America like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love in uh, what do you do? Oh, uh, I'm a student. I have a part-time. No, I have a part-time job too. Where do you go? Perdón, where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Let's change. Let's change roles. Now, Veronica, you're going to be Jason. Adriana, you're going to be Andrea. Action. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I'm a guide. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. Oh, interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love, love it. And what do you do? Oh, I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent, very good job. Thank you, girls. Let's see. Veronica, repeat after me. Guide. Guide. Three times. Guide. Guide. All right, thank you. Repeat after me, Veronica. Interesting. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Right, excellent. Thank you very much. Ladies, let's go with Karen. Karen, you're going to have, um, let me check. You're going to have Ileana with you to practice. All right, Ileana? Uh, Karen, you're going to be Andrea. Ileana, you're going to be Jason, please. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Where do you work, Andrea? I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do there? I am a, a you, a tell people or tour to country in South America like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great a job. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I'm a student. I have a part-time job too. Where are you? Where do you work? In a fast food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Heaven. Excellent. Thank you, Karen and Ileana. Now let's exchange. But this time, Karen, you're going to practice with Patricia. Uh, now, Karen, you're going to be Jason and Patricia is going to be Andrea. Action. Where are you bro? Sorry. Where do you work, Andrea? Sorry. I work at Thomas Cook Travel. Oh, really? What do you do? I am a guy. I take people on tours to countries in South America, like Peru. How interesting. Yeah, it's a great job. I really love it. And what do you do? Oh, I am a student. I have part-time job too. Where do you work? In a fata food restaurant. Which restaurant? Hamburger Haven. Excellent. Thank you so much, Karen and Patricia, for your help. Now let's see. Karen, repeat after me. Guys. 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 Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. Repeat after me, Karen. Interesting. Okay. Interesting. 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 Very good, Karen. And last, what do you do there? 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 Excellent. Thank you so much, Karen, for your help and your practice in class. Now, listen, everyone. Let's see. Let's move on. We have simple present double H questions and statements. Now, let's see. Keep an eye on this information. We have these questions, which I, I'm not sure, but I believe that no. No, we didn't see anything about this yesterday. Now, we're going to practice. I'm going to need Laura, please ask question number one. No, ask all of the questions with Anayansi. Anayansi, you are going to answer all of the questions, right? One by one. For example, what do you do? I'm a student and I have a part-time job, right? Actually. Okay, teacher. What do you do? I am a student. I and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at in a restaurant. Where do you go to to school? I go to the University of, of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She wore a Thomas could travel. What does she do? She is a guy she takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Is. Laura and Anayansi. Now, listen to like Listen to this part. When you have the S in the verb, I need you to pronounce the S. You cannot say she worked at Thomas. No, she works, right? Give me a second and you will see why. Also, if you see an S in take, takes. Love, loves, all right? Now, let's go with Mary. Mary Vanegas, you're going to ask and Patricia is going to answer. Action. What do you do? I am a student and I have a part-time job. Where do you work? I work at in a restaurant in a restaurant. Where do you go to a school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a guy. She takes people on tours. Who does she like it? She loves it. Excellent. Very good job. Very good job. Thank you. Now, let's see the pronunciation of the last question. And this is for everyone. How does she like it? How does she like it, right? How does she like it? Exactly, very good. Now let's see, Laura, you have a question? Yeah, yes, Miss, I have a question. Uh, in the second line, to the answers, I work at in a restaurant. It means that you have what? two options. To have two options, it's correct? Mm -hmm. to say no, to for example, else? you can choose one between two options. Uh, yeah, but, but the two options Both. are correct. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, thank you. Exactly. Teacher. You can say, I work at a restaurant or I work in a restaurant. Excellent, Laura. Good eye. Excellent. Let's go with Ileana. You're going to work with Nestor. Ileana, you're going to ask. Nestor is going to answer. Action. Okay. What do you do? I work 
Let's wait for Nestor. He's, he's grabbing his coffee. Are you there, Nestor? Hmm, maybe he's not there. Let's see, Eliana. You're going to work with, mm, let me see, with Karen. Okay, you're still going to ask and Karen is going to answer. Okay. What do you do? I am a student and I have part-time job. Where do you work? I go at in the restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to University of the Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Cook Travel. What does she do? She's a girl. She stay people or she stay people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. It. Right. Thank you, Ileana and Karen. Okay. All right, um, Nestor, thank you so much for telling me your message. It's okay, don't worry, I understand, right? Don't worry, keep driving. Sigue manejando, no se preocupe. Let's see, everyone. Um, let's catch the pronunciation of this one. She loves it, okay? She's a guide. When you see this, she's, it's a contraction of the verb to be plus the subject. She's a guide. She takes people on tours, right? Thank you. Let's go with Adriana and Miss. Who can said you me? repeat? Can you repeat? The, she she loves loves loves. Uh -huh. She loves it. Mm -hmm. She loves it. Remember that the V, you need to pronounce it like V. That's why you say she loves it. Thanks. Very good. Actually, Adriana, you're going to practice with the questions. And let me see, Veronica, you're going to answer the questions. Action. What do you do? Veronica, are you there? Sorry. I'm a student and I have a part-time part job. Where do you work? I work at in a restaurant. Where do you go to school? I go to the University of Texas. Where does Andrea work? She works at Thomas Good Travel. What does she do? She's a guy. She takes people on tours. How does she like it? She loves it. Excellent. Very good job. Now, as you may notice in here, there's something interesting, right? After the double H word, we have do. And this is an auxiliary. In third person, we have does. And this is also an auxiliary for third person singular. We will see more information about that in a second. I just want to tell you this. This is going to be different for the, from the usual double H structure that you have. If you remember your questions with double H, you have double H plus verb to be plus subject and all those things, right? In these, in these ones, you don't have the verb to be in questions. Questions, you don't have the verb to be. But you do have an auxiliary, an auxiliary verb. Let's see. Uh, by the way, if you didn't have this information, you can copy this on your notebook, at least the questions, because that's like the main full part.
We are doing the same thing, Laurita. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> In my case, it's tea, so you cannot complain because it's okay. only tea. <laughs> okay, how do you say this view? <laughs> Ah? My, how do you say this you ah uh, my hobbies could be also my hobbies or my jam como lo que me gusta mucho my jam okay coca cola <laughs> is for me <laughs> I got you i got you my friend <laughs> <laughs> patricia is going to say coca cola is bad girls coca cola is not good for the body Exactly. <laughs> Ay, I know. That is so delicious. <laughs> water is better. Yeah, yes, I also have my yes, water yes. in here. Yes. Por ahí está la mía water, water, water. <laughs> All right, everyone. And I believe you have this now. Let's move on. We have more information. Third person singular. Let's keep an eye on this one. No, mm, it says, notice the changes on the verbs when talking in third person singular. Look at the examples. Let's see. I'm going to have Adriana, please give me the verbs only with I, you. Work, take, study, teach. Do, go, have. Very good, excellent. Patricia, give me the examples of verbs with he and she. Works, takes, studies, teaches, 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 mm -hmm. does, goes, has. Excellent, very good. Now, my dear students, if you notice, it changes, right? It's not the same. We have the same verb, but the structure of the verb, it's different. Why? Because you need to add S to the verb in third person singular. Only in third person singular, right? For example, I won't say he worked in a restaurant. He works in a restaurant. But I cannot say I works in a restaurant. All right, so you need to keep in mind both, both videos of these verbs, right? You need to learn and you need to keep in mind when are you going to change the structure of the verb. Now, just in case you don't have this, you can copy this. Actually, you can copy this information on your notebook as a reference.
All right, have you finished? Yes, teacher. Thanks, very good. Now let's check the following because then you're going to practice. So I need to explain you this. Take notes. Laura, please read the information. Take notes. When we ask any type of questions on simple present, we, we must use the auxiliary do and doesn't. Thanks, very good. There you have specifically, right? In simple present. For example, we're going to check this in the next PPT. I will show, right? Just keep in mind that we have do. For do specifically, which subject pronouns am I going to use, Adriana? Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. For you, what specifically subject pronouns are you, am I going to use? Do. Aha, uh -huh, for do. Which subject pronouns do I use with do? Tell me the subject pronouns that I have in here. I, you, uh-huh. I, you, we, they. Excellent. Keep an eye on this one, students. Do, we do, I'm going to use I, you, we, they, four subject pronouns. It doesn't mean that I'm going to use all these four subject pro pronouns at the same time, right? No. I'm telling you with this that you can use either or. You can use either I or you, either we or they. For does, let's see, Mary, what subject pronouns can I use for does? Does is he, she, it. Excellent, very good, thank you so much. Jancy, tell me the structure that we have. Please. Excuse me. Tell me the structure that we have. Double H. Um, w H. Um. More. Plus. Uh, Repeat after me. Plus. 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 Solo más es plus. Plus. A. Auxiliary. Auxiliary. Plus. Subject. Plus. Verb. Um, base form. Base form. Uh, plus complement. Uh -huh. Plus question. Plus question. Uh, pretty good. There you have it, guys. This is like a long structure, right? Because you have the double H and also you have the auxiliaries. I have two auxiliaries. I have do and does. My auxiliary is going to depend on which subject pronouns am I using. Let's see. So I'm telling you, we have any double H word that you consider that should be there, depending on your questions. And then you have your auxiliary, which could be do or does. You have a subject, I, you, we, they, etc. But you also have another verb, another verb in base form. This won't change because remember that we are in simple present, right? So you cannot change the verb. The complement, you know that you can add anything you want and then the question mark. Let's move on. Double H, double H word plus auxiliary verb plus subject 
plus verb in base form plus rest of the sentence. Let's see the first one, Patricia. Read the first one. What do I, no, what do you want? What do I want? What do we want? What do they want? Very good, thank you. Let's see, Karen, why? Why? Uy, perdón. Why, why does? Why, why, perdón, why does? He? Why does, why does he? 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 Show? Who show at you? Mm -hmm. Will does she? Show are you mm -hmm. with does it hop and you mm -hmm. excellent pretty good shout everyone is the same and as, as a scream or talking out loud right like if I say let's suppose and I'm saying this on purpose eh, Sonia do this that's shouting to someone right like you are screaming to someone in a rude way. Excellent, thank you, Karen. So why does he shout at you? If you notice in these questions, we are missing the question mark, okay? So you gotta keep an eye on that. Why does she shout at you? Why does it shout at you? For example, a dog or something else, right? Why? And then we use it. Let's see, we have this guiding examples, my dear students. I'm going to need Veronica, please read the guiding example number one. Okay, when do you want to meet me? When do you want? To meet me. Me. When do you want to meet me? Ileana? Uh -huh, excellent. Ileana, number two. Why does Beth always complain so much? Mm -hmm, thank you. Diane, number three. How much does the ticket cost? Excellent. Very really good. And Number four, let's have Anna Jansi, number four. Uh, why don't you ever go on vacation? Thanks, very good, thank you so much. Now, if you notice, we're following the structure. Copy these examples on your notebooks, please, because then you're going to practice. Uh, teacher, yes. it's, a, it's a simple present. Yeah, we're still in simple present, but we are using auxiliary. Do and does. Okay, thank you. We're always in simple present because look at this. My verb, my second verb is not changing. One, complain is not changing. Cost, it's in simple present. Okay. All right, if you're finished with the examples, let me know. Mm 
No, I see some of you are still taking notes. Don't worry. Finish. 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 Excellent. <clears throat> All right, so let's move on. We have these exercises, right? I have my answers in here. So right now you're going to work on your notebooks. You're going to complete this. Some of these are questions, some others are sentences. Please keep in mind that the, when we are using third person singular, my verb is going to be with it, right? Also, keep in mind that sometimes this is not, actually this part is not in the platform, what I'm going to say right now. In simple present, we have a lot of rules, okay? I want to be honest with you. We have a lot of rules. And with the time, I'm going to show you some of them. One of those rules, it says that when one of your verbs finish in Y, you are going to change the ending of the verb. For example, instead of saying try, you're going to say tries, right? Right, now you can work on that. Of course, only interpersonal, right?
Are you finished? No yet. All right, don't worry, take your time. Finish. Excellent. Ready, good. In some of these questions, not in some, not in all of them, maybe one or two of them, you won't use the does or do. Okay. For example, in number six. In number six, we use do, no. Nope. <laughs> you won't use okay. any auxiliary. Okay. In the in number six, I use who. Uh -huh. Who? And yeah. what? Who, uh -huh. who, pay, yeah. who pay for your expenses? Thanks. Very good. Yeah, actually. Yeah, that's okay. correct. All right, we're going to start with some of them now, right? Let's see. Laura, help me with number one, please. Number one, every year his family goes to Europe for two weeks. Excellent, very good. That's like simple present, normal, right? Goes, you just change the verb. Number two, Adriana. Tommy and Jim. And Jim takes a Pilates class on Wednesday mornings. Excellent, very good. The takes, because they are day, right? Very good. Take. Excellent. Number three, Patricia. Okay. Um, number three. When that airline fly to flies to, Bar to Paris, Right? You're using a double H, but also remember that in simple, uh, in present simple or in simple present, we can start our questions with do or does, right? So in this one, you can say also, does that airplane flies to Paris, right? Does that airplane flies to Paris? You Thank can you. also use do or does to start the questions. Excellent. Thank you, Patricia. Number four, Karen. The semester done finish, finish it until the end, John. Excellent. The semester don't finish until the end of June. No, wait, doesn't finish. The semester doesn't finish until the end of June. Number five, Ileana. 
Um, uh, Tony usually tries to call his mother in the mornings. Excellent, very good, thank you. Thank you. Now in number six, Patricia already helped us telling us that she used who pays for your car expenses. Excellent, very good. Number seven, Diane. Um, I, I don't know if it's the shops doesn't close until two or the shops aren't closed. It's doesn't, right? Yeah, doesn't. The shops doesn't. Doesn't, uh -huh. doesn't close until two. Until 21. Oh, or until two. <laughs> until yeah, 21. Right. It's okay. Don't worry. Thank you. All right. And let's see. I still have time for numbers. Number eight. Let's see, Veronica. What do you have for number eight? Let's see, Jancy, what do you have for number eight? Gerard, Gerard receive, uh, receive the ball and get into the net. Mm -hmm, okay. Gerard receives the ball and kicks into the net. All right. All right, everyone, we're going to stop in here. Uh, on Monday, we have our next class, and we're going to finish the exercises, all right? It was a pleasure to see you, and have a pleasant, uh, a pleasant weekend, and take care. See you on Monday. Bye. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye.